How would you like to be forced out of your job at the age of 65, even though you were highly training, trained and qualified to keep it? That's what today's airline pilots are facing with a mandatory retirement age that may be contributing to the pilot shortage. But Senator Lindsey Graham may have a solution. Chief Transportation Correspondent and veteran pilot May Kay Beeler joins us now. All right, so May Kay, let's talk to us about Senator Lindsey Graham. What is he proposing and how is he tackling this? Well, he says one of the biggest causes of airline delays is lack of available crews. He said, if your flight takes off on time, you probably think you won the lottery. Mm -hmm. So that's why he has reintroduced the Let Experienced Pilots Fly Act. Now, he introduced this last year, but it didn't go through, so he's reintroducing it again. What it does is it raises the mandatory airline pilot retirement age from 65 to 67. He's getting a growing amount of bipartisan support from lawmakers and the Regional Airline Association. Now, Graham just reintroduced the bill, as I said again, you know, to kind of give it another shot and see if it goes through this year. So here's some background. In 2007, the mandatory airline pilot retirement age was only 60. It was raised to 65. Mm -hmm. 65 is just a number. It's not linked to any medical study. Opponents of the increasing retirement age to 67 say older pilots typically have more medical issues that may result in them being grounded anyway. So how's that going to help the retirement or how's that going to help the pilot shortage? Mm -hmm. But, you know, folks, airline pilots are required to have a medical every six months, a very intensive medical exam. And that's going to continue to the age of 67. So yeah. their health is very closely monitored. That's not going to change. So what do pilots think about this? Well, I spoke with pilot Randy McPeak. is a pilot of 47 years, yeah. retired Air Force, retired airline. He was not happy when he was forced out of the cockpit at age 65. He's now age 69, flying all around the world, not for an airline, um, but for fairing airplanes. He's healthy. He says that this is absolutely discrimination at its absolute worst, making you retire at 65. The Regional Airline Association agrees, declaring this is discrimination against healthy pilots who are sidelined at the peak of their experience and earnings potential in two years ahead of Social Security retirement. So they're not happy with it. They would like to push it to 67. And I think as long as they're healthy, why not? We need captains. We need to keep our captains. We need mentors for our young, inexperienced pilots. It'll, it'll be interesting to see, since last time it didn't pass, it just narrowly didn't pass, to see if it makes it through this time. Yes. Well, now that the bill's been reintroduced, where can we see movement? I mean, how uh, I want to know that, that too. And I. <laughs> I did reach out to uh, the senator's office today. They say they don't know. Mm. The Democrats are in charge of the committees, mm. and so they're just going to have to wait and see when that happens. Don't hold your breath. But it is a priority. His office said this is a priority. I know all the passengers would like more pilots so we can have more flights to get to where do we want to go.